Top diplomats from G7 countries have arrived in the Japanese city of Karawitawa for three days of talks. The war in Ukraine, China's growing influence in the region and North Korea's missile tests are high on the agenda. The talks in an advance of G7 leaders' summits to be held in Hiroshima next month. Robert Bryce joining us from Karawitawa. Now, we know the Ukraine war is going to be top of that agenda. There are, of course, other problems in the region as well, Rob. That's right. I mean, the work of this uh, gathering is really getting underway this Sunday evening with a working dinner. The subject of which they'll be discussing is the uh, influence of China in this region and the wider world and also North Korea. All the participants have now uh, arrived. Uh, we saw from uh, James Cleverly, the British Foreign Secretary, he posted a selfie of himself and his six colleagues arriving on the specially chartered um, uh, Shinkansen, the bullet train coming from Tokyo. It is all smiles, no hint of any uh, disagreement. But we do know that there have been tensions, in particular in the approach of the G7 towards uh, China, and especially in the, in the wake of uh, Emmanuel Macron, the French president's visit to Beijing, seen by many of his G7 colleagues as being just a bit too overly friendly with Xi Jinping, uh, given that uh, the U.S. wants to try to rally the allies to counter the growing influence uh, of China in this part of the world, which is not seen as a good thing by the United States. States. Um, uh, but uh, so we're seeing from the uh, French Foreign uh, Minister Catherine Colonna a damage control uh, this Sunday evening moving forwards. She is having to outline the France's position when it comes to dealing with China, that uh, uh, she is, they are not uh, uh, breaking away from uh, the other European allies, and in particular from the United States. In fact, she has been tweeting that all of the G7 are united when it comes to supporting a free and open Indo-Pacific. That's taken as being being aimed at China and at China's intentions in this part of the, the world. Uh, but in addition to all of the problems in East Asia, the Taiwan Strait, South China Sea, uh, North Korea, and also the problems in Europe uh, with uh, Ukraine and uh, Russia, we're also seeing, of course, the problems in Africa uh, being uh, taken front and center with the deepening crisis in Sudan from Antonio Tajani, the Italian foreign minister. He has tweeted uh, that the military leaders should cease fire immediately, uh, sentiment echoed by uh, Alina Baerbock, the German foreign minister, saying that she's appalled by the casualties calling for an end to the fighting. Rob, thank you very much indeed. That's Rob McBride talking to us from Karawitsaba.